every next generation buddy well i'm back with another quick channel update just to cover some current events and also maybe touch on the coming attractions for december first since most of us would like to see the colby house channel grow i just thought i'd mention a tool that's really starting to make a difference no it isn't a penis pump and it's not a new dildo it's my twitter account Many of my viewers have hopped on board already and they started following me and it's really easy to see when I've uploaded a new video if you follow me. So why don't we all try a group exercise? Come on, just try it. So here's step one. Ready? Look in the description of this video for the Twitter link. It's right on the first line. And then step two. Click on it to open my Twitter page. And by the way, if you really can't find the link, then you can just go to twitter.com slash And then step three, click the follow button to start following my Twitter feed. Did you do it? There you go. Now you're going to get alerts whenever I upload a new video. And these Twitter alerts are much more reliable than YouTube's crappy sub box and all those changes lately that have bugged everything on the site. But anyway, instead of ranting for half an hour about all of YouTube's recent screw-ups, why don't I just keep it positive? And by the way, thanks to all of you who are subscribing, I'm on track for hitting 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I can't tell you how happy I am that the channel is really starting to take off. In fact, just a few months ago, back in early August, I aired a viewer appreciation video to thank everyone for passing 20,000 subscribers. And that was barely four months ago. So it looks like I'm doing something right, and I want to keep pumping out a few new series and some special presentations. So here's a couple of things to look forward to this coming weekend and then into December. First, the folks over at RCRN Community, which produces the Skyrim mod called RCRN, they want me to produce a video to cover their anniversary edition of RCRN. So I will definitely do that, and I should get that out by Thursday, which is in just a few days. Then, right after I air that, I have to finish and publish another Fallout 4 No Bowl episode, because as most of us know, the wasteland has been teeming with rumors, hoaxes, Morse code, and SOS signals. Apparently people are still just as confused about the mixed signals today as they were two weeks ago, so don't worry, No Bowl is on the way. Then, right after I air that No Bowl episode, which is episode 4, I have two fully licensed Steam copies of Fallout 3 Game of the Year edition. So I'll run a fun little contest to give those two away, so stay tuned for the contest kickoff right after the No Bowl episode. Well, that covers the rest of this month, and here are the series to look forward to in December. Uh, first of all, I still need to release that first part of the live tour of Mariner's Island, and I'll present that probably in mid-December or so. I also will finish my Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea walkthrough, and while we wait for the second part of that Burial at Sea DLC, I'll finish uploading my main Infinite walkthrough too. Uh, we still got about maybe 20 videos to go on that. I've also decided to start a questions and answers series where I pull some selected questions from the audience. I'd like to go ahead and start collecting the questions now, so feel free to just start posting your questions in the comment section of this video. But you have to start your question with Q and A colon, just so I know that you want it to be a part of the Q&A video. And keep in mind that I can only grab a few of them out of the hat, so don't feel lost if I didn't get to yours. And I'll make that Q&A video probably in the first week of December. Uh, and then I'll probably do one of those every few months if everyone liked it. And there's one last series I wanted to mention that will probably begin in January. In anticipation of Fallout 4, I've decided to start a brand new series in the style of Where Fact Meets Fiction. I'm going to analyze some game elements of Fallout, and then we'll apply them to nuclear science in the real world just to see how feasible and possible these fantasies really are. And to do that, I'm going to be featuring a co-host who just so happens to have a PhD in nuclear science. And I guarantee that you guys are going to love this series as much as I love making it. And alright, that's all for this one. Watch my Twitter feed, bookmark my channel if you could, and I'll do everything I can to have a new video waiting for you every time you come back. Thanks for making my channel what it is today, and we'll see you at the bottom of the ocean, in the land of Skyrim, and in the capital wasteland. Thanks for watching.